And so we come now happily to our final round, more disturbing insights from our panellists who yet again have no idea what's written on the card they're about to read. Uh, beginning with... <coughs> David. I believe disaster will occur if I don't adhere to my special alarm clock system. <laughs> what is this alarm clock system? <laughs> Well, the system is uh, that I have uh, two alarm clocks, one that plugs in and one on my phone, and I set them both at the same time because historically I used to be quite a deep sleeper and it was difficult to wake up. One will usually go off first, even though they're for the same mm. time because the clocks are independent, and I have to turn the other one off before it goes. What uh, kind of disasters do you imagine will occur? Uh, well, I, I, I imagine I might die, basically. <laughs> I imagine I might discover I've got a terminal disease, or I imagine whatever thing I'm most worried about. Are you following this? I'm totally confused. You've got two alarm clocks, yeah, one, one of them is plugged in, one of them's on your phone, mm -hmm. and the explanation for why do you do this is because I think I might get a terminal illness. Yeah, is there a big that bit that I've missed out? Yes, there is. Uh, the, all the words I said in between those parts of the story. <laughs> that's, that's what you've missed out. Yeah. So, Lee, do you think there's any truth in this? I think we have to rely on Robert's knowledge of David for this. I think it's true. Yeah, you do? Yes. I've spent many years watching David try to leave the house without unlocking and locking and unlocking and locking the door seven or eight times, and so um, I believe he would have a system for waking up. <laughs> you are team captain. Definitely true. Definitely true. Okay. Definitely. We'll go with true. You're saying it's true. Okay. David, reveal all. It is, in fact, true. <laughs> Yes, uh, David does believe that uh, if he doesn't adhere to his special alarm clock system, some kind of disaster will occur, like someone finding out he's got a special alarm clock system. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of sportsmen are superstitious too. Tim Henman, for example, had a lucky towel that he believed made him win tennis matches, and he left it in a hotel room in 1993. <laughs> 